Jamie Foxx is making headlines after a lawsuit was filed against him. This, of course, had led many people to dive deeper for details surrounding this incident. Of course, he is known for his acting career as he has appeared in films such as Spider Man, Horrible Bosses, and his breakout role in Ray, just to name a few. Over the years, he has accomplished a lot for himself as he has won many awards, worked on huge films, and even has an estimated net worth of $170 million. However, with recent revelations, he has been accused of serious allegations. Hello everyone, I'm Melanie with Inform Overload and today we are going to be discussing top 5 reasons why Jamie Foxx is being sued for SA, as well as a dive into his past controversies or legal troubles as he found himself in. Before we get started, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I do want to let you know some topics we will be discussing may be sensitive to some viewers. For number 5, we have a restaurant incident. This is the story currently making headlines as a lawsuit has been filed accusing Jamie for SA. And I'm assuming many of you have noticed a lot of high profile celebrities being accused of SA in recent series of lawsuits filed under the Adult Survivors Act, which is a New York state law allowing certain lawsuits to be filed in court even if the statute of limitation has run out. And there is actually a deadline for this one year window as complaints under the law expire at the end of this month. However, for this incident, a plaintiff claims to have recognized Jamie at a New York City restaurant called Catch NYC before asking him for a photo while dining next to the actor at their rooftop table. Apparently, he seemed intoxicated at the time and told the plaintiff, who is only being referred to as Jane Doe, that she looked like Gabrielle Union, who is a popular actress and even complimenting her for her supermodel body as well as her scent. The court documents also described how Jamie allegedly took Jane Doe to a private or secluded area of the restaurant where he began touching her breast and waist and a nearby staff member also walked away despite Jane Doe stepping back in efforts to get away. That's where the plaintiff also claimed Jamie as aid her by putting his fingers in private areas until a friend of Jane Doe came towards the area. The documents also claim that Jane Doe has suffered and continues to suffer severe emotional distress, anxiety, humiliation, embarrassment, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other physical and emotional damages. Jane Doe is not only taking legal action against the actor himself, but she is also suing the restaurant and its owner Mark Burnham, alleging that they were negligent and failed to use reasonable care to prevent the acts that were previously discussed. As I'm currently filming this, Jamie and his representative haven't made a comment yet, but we will for sure give you an update if that occurs. And at number Four, we have 2002 party claims. This incident allegedly happened in 2002, but was first reported by TMZ nearly 16 years later in 2018. According to law enforcement, this accuser told the cops in June of 2018 about an incident that occurred in Las Vegas, where she attended a party at Jamie's place and he tried to get her to perform certain acts on him. She claims when he refused, Jamie slapped her across the face using his private part. The accuser also added after the essay occurred, Heard, one of Jamie's friends told her she had to get out of the house and she claims that she went to the hospital the next day when she got back to her home in LA to get treated for a severe panic attack. This was listed by the Vegas PD in 2018 as an open investigation, but the statute of limitation had already passed as it's three years in Nevada. At the time this was reported, Jamie's attorney told TMZ that Jamie empathetically denies that this incident ever occurred and he will be filing a report with the Las Vegas Police Department against Against the woman for filing a false police report against him. The first time Jamie became aware of this woman's absurd claims about an incident that supposedly occurred 16 years ago was when TMZ contacted his representatives about the story. Before also adding, the alleged incident was not reported to law enforcement in 2002 or at any other time in the last 16 years until last Friday because the incident never happened. But the accuser says that certain movements inspired her to finally file a police report and wanted the alleged incident recorded in case other accusers came forward. But eventually the police closed this case. And at number 3 we have an anti-semitic post. In August of this year, Jamie made a post on Instagram that caused accusations of anti-semitism. His post was a black screen with words that claimed that they ended Jesus' life before adding what do you think they'll do to you and even added hashtag fake friends, hashtag fake love. And of course following backlash, he deleted this message and issued a statement. The next day, he apologized to the Jewish community and everyone who was offended by his post, and he recognized his choice words have caused offense, and he was 
story as that was never his intention. He also clarified how he was betrayed by a fake friend and that's what he meant by they and nothing more. Before adding, he also only has love in his heart for everyone as he loves and supports the Jewish community. But while this post was still up, one other celebrity that got dragged into this heat was Jennifer Aniston after there were screenshots of her liking Jamie's post. She ended up speaking out on her Instagram story writing, this really makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by this showing up on their feeds, I do not support any form of anti-Semitism and I truly don't tolerate hate of any kind, period. And in our number two spot, we have a 2003 arrest. While Jamie was visiting a casino in New Orleans with his sister Deidre Dixon, the report stated that Jamie and his sister became angry after the casino security guards wouldn't let them in until they showed their ID. But his sister refused to vacate the premise and caused a commotion. And by commotion, I mean the two of them cursed at the bouncers, and Jamie even splashed water from a fountain, which ultimately prompted security to ask the two to leave. But instead of leaving, they went to the gaming tables instead, and that's when the staff at Hara's Casino called the police. But even following the police's arrival, they still wouldn't leave and instead cursed out the cops. And one cop even handcuffed Deidre, but she ended up being able to free one hand and swung the cuffs, which hit one police officer in the face and opening a gash above his eye, which he had to receive stitches for. When Jamie and Deidre ended up in a physical altercation with cops that ultimately resulted in serious injuries on both sides, that include that included the two siblings being sprayed with pepper spray. Entertainment Weekly reported Jamie spent more than 20 minutes behind bars, but Deidre was locked up for several hours before both of them were released on bond. Jamie's bond was $1,900 and his sister was released on a $6,000 bond. And a few months later, Jamie faced a judge and pleaded not guilty to his charges, which the most severe one was battery on police officers. And for our number one spot, we have almost another jail time. According to WLTX19, a judge said arrest warrants will be issued for Jamie and Deidre, who is his sister as we discussed in our last point for the whole ID casino incident, if they fail to return to New Orleans for a court appearance. They did manage to avoid that and Jamie learned his fate shortly after. Although he avoided serious jail time, he was put on probation and was ordered to pay a $1,500 fine. Jamie did also change his original plea from not guilty to guilty. However, his sister Deidre wasn't as lucky as she faced charges for her participation and faced slightly harsher punishments than her brother. She received a 5 year suspended prison sentence and 5 years of probation as well as a $14,500 in fines. This was after the two were charged with 2 counts each of battery on a police officer causing injury, a felony, and 1 count of disturbing the peace which is a misdemeanor. Deidre was also charged with resisting an officer which is another misdemeanor. And this was all because of the casino incident where Deidre wouldn't show her ID and things quickly escalated from there but this time they were able to avoid another jail experience. And if you didn't know, earlier this year, his daughter Corinne Fox issued an Instagram statement back in April revealing Jamie was facing medical complications. But thanks to quick action and great care for his road to recovery and stars such as LeBron James took it to social media to post tributes for the actor. Well now the actor is in the media for completely different reasons and I'm curious to know all your thoughts surrounding the recent SA allegations against him. Be sure you leave all your thoughts and comments down below as I am curious to know what you're thinking. And of course, we have made it to the end of today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next. Bye bye.